Hello Aquarius, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be your love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Aquarius watching, so feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. So for today's reading, I'm going to be pulling from these two Oracle decks. I have already pre-shuffled them off camera, so I'll just split the decks here, or cut the decks. All right, Spirit, for Aquarius, please. Let's see what we have for you guys in love. Fork in the road. Okay, so a decision of some sort that needs to be made. Okay, let's see what else we have. For Aquarius, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I feel like I never. Okay. Mountain. Okay, so some sort of obstacle here for you or this other person that you're dealing with. Um, it could also be that the path that they are on is not very easy. There are obstacles in their way, and they might be thinking about choosing an easier path here. Something around that obstacle, possibly. Let's get into the tarot and see what that's all about. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed on the channel recently. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments and I just am so grateful for the support. I know it's been a little bit crazy lately. I hope everyone is healthy, well. I hope that um, you're all remaining positive during this time i know it's difficult but we're gonna get through it all right spirit what messages do you have for aquarius please regarding love messages for aquarius please regarding love Let's see what we have for aquarius what can you tell me about aquarius's regarding love oops Okay, so we got Five of Pentacles and King of Pentacles, so that's, that's a nice change. Two of Swords. So whatever situation I talk about today, time is fluid. So it could have happened in the past, could be happening now, or happen in the near future. And roles can be reversed, so Feel free to flip the rolls if they resonate better. Okay. All right, so this is what I'm seeing. This is a new spread I'm trying, which I'm really liking because it's simple and to the point. So this is kind of like the past, current energies, and the future energies here. So I'm still going to look at the whole spread as a whole, though. Um, just putting that out there. Um, what I'm seeing here is that there was some sort of um, lack or struggle in the past here, an obstacle, most likely, that you were dealing with, you or the person that you are connecting with. Um, it could have been a financial struggle of some sort. It could have just been someone leaving someone else out, abandoning someone, leaving them behind. Um, and then we kind of shift over here where there's kind of some confusion within a decision that has to be made. I have a feeling that's probably related to this fork in the road. Um, someone trying to make a decision here. Someone that is stable and grounded with the King of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that you're dealing with. Doesn't have to be, but this is someone who has is financially secure or just stable and grounded, um, just energy-wise. They're a very um, solid person. And I feel like this person is trying to come in with some sort of communication here with the Knight of Swords. And someone else might be confused about this or might not know which way to go. Because I have here the Nine of Swords and the Two of Wands. Someone who's been really thinking through about this decision. Someone who cannot make up their mind. Stress, anxiety. Um, someone is really unsure about what to do. Where to go. So let's clarify these energies and see what else we can get.
Spirit. Help me clarify these energies for Aquarius regarding love. Help me clarify these energies for Aquarius regarding love. All right, let's see what we have for you. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. What happened here? Six of Wands, okay. Judgment, okay. Can I get one more for this Five of Pentacles? What happened with this Five of Pentacles? Thank you. Wow. So we got Six of Wands, Judgment, and Wheel of Fortune. Uh, judgment and Wheel of Fortune, very powerful energies here. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune, something is changing. Fortune is on your side. Good luck. Um, divine timing. With Judgment, this is someone really looking at the past here, wanting a second chance, wanting, having an awakening of some sort, um, a rebirth. And so I'm thinking someone wants to, to have a, a rebirth here because in this deck, the Wheel of Fortune, there's like something dead on one side and something alive in the other. So I'm really getting the sense of the wheel shifting here to bring something back to life. Whoever this is, they want success and recognition with the Six of Wands. They want victory. This They could also just be wanting out of this this energy of lack of struggle. Tell me about the, okay. The fool just popped up. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Okay. Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This could be you. This King of Pentacles could be interested in you. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles for Aquarius. Six of Swords, and I saw the Six of Swords while I was shuffling. Wow, Two of Cups just came out. This King of Pentacles has, has left something or cut something out. I'm getting with the Queen of Swords and the Six of Swords for their Two of Cups, or they could have cut out a soulmate connection. They could have left a soulmate connection. It could go either way. They could have left a connection to go after their soulmate, or they could have cut out a soulmate connection and left it behind. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. Spirit, tell me more about the Six of Swords, please. Yeah, look at this, the devil. Could be a Capricorn, but what I'm seeing is someone left a toxic situation or a situation where they felt trapped, mentally trapped. I'm really getting that this person, th there could have been a child involved, doesn't have to be, but I'm mentioning it. Um, this could have been a marriage with children, doesn't have to be, but I'm mentioning it because I'm seeing it. Um, this person could have had a um, unhealthy attachment here that they needed to cut away for stability and for just peace with the Six of Swords. What I don't know if is if this is leading them towards a Two of Cups. We'll see what else the spread has to say, but I find that fascinating. Um, whatever happened had to happen for this person's stability. Again, this could be you or this other person. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Okay, Page of Pentacles. So someone could be wondering how to bring an offer about here, could be confused. Someone could just be fantasizing. I'm sorry about the noise in the background, my neighbor. 
is cutting the grass. Queen of Cups. Anything else for the seven of... Have anything else over here? I think that's it. Seven of Cups clarified by the Page of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and Five of Cups. There's regret, I feel, about something. This person could have chosen the wrong cup in the past, and that's why they're thinking so hard about this other cup. You know, it's like there's so many options here, but at some point this person had options too, and then they regret their choice, or they look at the past and they they are sad or despondent about what happened. So I feel like that's kind of putting this person in a, a state of stress or anxiety about a decision they have to make. There's a fork in the road here. And this person is really in their emotions about it. And they, they're thinking about how to get to their Queen of Cups here with the Page of Pentacles and Queen of Cups. Could be a water sign, it doesn't have to be, or an earth sign. But this is a very, this is a small offer this person wants to make, but something stable. There's emotion behind this offer, whatever it is, but there's confusion as well. Tell me more about this Two of Swords. I'm so sorry if that background noise is loud, guys. Tell me about it. Okay. Two of Swords clarified by Two of Wands, <laughs> which we have here as well. The World and Knight of Pentacles. So this person is trying to make a decision about closing a chapter or starting a new cha chapter here. A more stable chapter here. But again, there's indecision. They're going back and forth about what they, I feel like they know what they need to do. I have the three of swords at the bottom of the deck. So this person could have been recovering from heartbreak or just heartbroken. And it's like they know what they have to do, but maybe they just need to heal first. But then I have this knight of swords. It's almost like they're going back and forth, right? At some point, they're just sitting around thinking of what decision to make. And then it's like they want to rush in with a message. What's this Knight of Swords about? What's the Knight of Swords about for Aquarius? This is someone wanting to communicate information, a truth. Knight of Wands and Temperance. So maybe this person does heal at some point enough to go after what they want with Temperance. Could be Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. Can I get one more for this Knight of Swords? There's passion and drive behind this communication. This person could also be thinking about, you know, they're trying to be patient, but at the same time, they, they are worried as well that if they don't decide, this won't happen. Nine of Pentacles came back out. Maybe someone is recently single and the other person is trying to rush in and take their chance. Or someone realizes here that this Nine of Pentacles has it all. Um, their eye is on the prize is what I just heard. See how this Knight is looking at this Nine of Pentacles here? Almost like that's exactly what they've been looking for. That's exactly what they want. And, you know, instead of being kind of like patient and moderate about this, they want to just rush in. So this, this communication might surprise you, Aquarius. And you might be the one that's like, uh, I don't know what to do. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Tell me about the Nine of Swords, please. For Aquarius. So we got justice, 
sign of Libra here. So this person could be worried that they're not going to be able to make things right. Ace of Swords. They've gotten clarity about a situation. They want to communicate a truth and have a new beginning based on this truth. But they're stressed. Could be um, They could be in some sort of legal situation here. That um, they could have used this sword to cut out something. You know, legally. Doesn't have to be, but... Um, Someone wants to make something right here, something more fair and balanced, and they're going to use this sword to do it. Um, I feel like someone is feeling maybe guilt or stress or just sleepless nights over this decision. It's not easy to cut something out of your life entirely. Tell me about the two of wands. There it is. Three of Swords came out again. Tell me more about the Two of Wands. Oh, I have something that's... Oh. Tell me more about the Two... The Star. Someone healing from heartbreak here. I feel like someone's eventually going to heal from heartbreak. There's you, Aquarius, with the Star. Someone's going to heal from heartbreak and have renewed hope for their future. Tell me more about the two of wands. Queen of wands, yeah. Someone is going to go after what they want here. After they heal from a situation. And they're going to communicate with the page of swords. So let's get some soul's journey cards. I haven't done this for the other person, but I kind of want to get more clarity. Spirit, help me clarify this situation for Aquarius, please. What else do we need to know about this connection? I kind of want to get some insight into what this person is thinking or anything else about this situation for you. Tell me about Aquarius, what Aquarius needs to know regarding this situation. What does Aquarius need to know regarding this situation? change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Well, yeah, we do have the Wheel of Fortune here. That's a massive change. This person could have also undergone some sort of change within themselves. We got happiness. I'm aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. So this person is trying to choose a path here that makes them happy. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry my dogs. I don't know what to do with it. Anything else? Doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. So this person does have a doubt that they might not make the right choice or that, you know, maybe change is not easy for this person. Um, but I feel like at the very end here, or this is the outcome or the near future, I feel like they are going to do what needs to be done with justice and the Ace of Swords. Um, I feel like they're going to communicate and take action with the Queen of Wands and the Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck there. I feel like whatever situation this is, Aquarius, this is not going to be an, a... a um, I feel like this person is going to come at you fast, but they want to take it slow with the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, right? It's like they just want you to know how they feel. They want you to know how happy you make them. They want you to know that they have changed or their circumstances have changed or they want a change in this situation. Um, maybe you've been friends for a while and they want to change that. Maybe um, they've had feelings for you, period from the past and they want to change that. Um, but definitely I feel like whatever is happening here with this person, um, you're going to know how they feel sometime this month, possibly. Um, it's just where you're going to take it from there, right? Thank you so much for clicking on this video, for hanging out with me. I hope that you guys are all safe and healthy and just have some peace during these really trying times. Thank you so much for your likes, subscribes. Um, I really appreciate it. And I hope that you guys take care.